All right, Samsung's back with a new rugged phone. They've just dropped the Galaxy X Cover 7 Pro, which is basically the follow up to the X Cover 6 Pro from 2022. Now, I'm not going to dive into every single spec and feature here. I'll leave a link to um, the official Samsung newsroom in the description if you want to check out the full details. Because let's be honest, there isn't a whole lot that's actually new here. In this video, I'm just going to break down what's actually different or better in this new model compared to the old one. So first up, the display. Screen size, aspect ratio, and refresh rate, pretty much the same. On paper, the X-Cover 6 Pro had a PLS LCD, and the new one's listed with a TFT LCD. Now, Samsung usually slaps PLS on his better LCD panels, but official spec sheets tend to just call it TFT. Uh, realistically, it's probably the same thing, just different wording. What is new, though, is Vision Booster. This one's handy if you're outdoors a lot. Um, it basically makes the screen easier to read under bright sunlight. Camera setup, no changes there. Same story with RAM and storage, except now you can expand the storage up to two terabytes if you need it. Nice little bonus. As for the build, it's gotten a little thicker and heavier, but the big upgrade is the processor. It's now rocking the Snapdragon 7S Gen 3, built on a four nanometer process. So better efficiency, more power. I'll throw some benchmark numbers on the screen so you can get a, an idea of how it stacks up. Battery's a bit bigger too, up by 300 milliamp hour to 4350 milliamp hour. Honestly though, still feels kind of small when some other brands are squeezing 7000 plus milliamp hour batteries into thinner phones. But hey, um, with the newer chip and that extra bit of juice, you should see better battery life than before. Uh, another upgrade, Android 15 out of the box. The X Cover 6 Pro is supposed to get Android 15 too, according to Samsung but you know how these things go. Support windows can be unpredictable. Oh, and they've bumped Bluetooth up to 5.4. Other than that, it's got the same rugged durability. Would have been nice to see an IP69 rating instead of sticking with IP68, but maybe next time. Anyway, what do you think? Is this the kind of upgrade you were hoping for? Or did Samsung kind of play it safe here? Um, drop your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. That's it for this one. Peace.